Janet, don't worry. We'll get off this damn island. How, Jax? How? Some lunatic burnt down our only ticket out of here. Sooner or later, that lunatic will make a mistake, and then we'll catch them. And what if they don't? Are you going to hunt them down like in one of your movies? If it comes to that, I will. Jax, this isn't a movie. You're not invincible. You don't even have a gun. I might not have one on me, but I'm telling you, I ain't going down without a fight. Oh, shut up, Jax. I'm fed up with your macho attitude. Janet, you gotta relax. Do not tell me to relax, Jax Trainer. I've had enough of you. Just leave me be. That ain't happening. What kind of man would I be if I left my woman like this? Oh, please. It's way too late to start growing a conscience. You were never around when I needed you most. So why start now? What do you want me to say? I'm an actor, Janet. Movies ain't shot in the blink of an eye. And I'm committed to my craft. I can't half-ass my way through it, no matter what. So that's your excuse for falling off the face of the earth for months on end? Is it too much to ask for a single phone call? To show that you still care, even just a little? Janet, I'm here now, ain't I? And you have my word. We're going to make it out of this place safe and sound. We've ridden out worse storms before, haven't we? And look at us, still standing, still here. What the hell are you talking about? The time we had that accident on the road. We were driving through the desert. I was taking you to visit my parents. But that goddamn deer just jumped in front of us. Our car was beyond repair. You tried to get a cellular connection, but I knew we'd find none in the middle of the desert. So we took turns of waiting, hoping someone would show up and give us a ride. When no one did, we had no other choice but to walk. And you marched forward like a champ. Remember how exhausted we were at the end of the first day. We thought the hiking was bad. That was nothing compared to the cold night. And the next day, we had to move on. We had no water, no food. I have no idea how we kept walking. All I know is that if it hadn't been for you, Janet, we'd never have reached that gas station. You're giving me too much credit, Jax. All I did was fuss and complain. What you did was give me a kick in my ass when I needed it the most. If it hadn't been for you, I don't know if I could have kept walking. You and I, Janet, we make one hell of a team. At least, we used to. What do you mean by used to? Jax, please don't start. I'm too tired for this. I should go to bed now. Do you want me to stay until you fall asleep? I'll be fine on my own, but thanks. I could read you a poem. It always used to make your worries fade. I'm not sure. Come on, darling. Just like the good old days. All right, I suppose. The book is in my bag.
Same as usual? Yes, please. Pale amber sunlight falls across the reddening October trees that hardly sway before a breeze as soft as summer. Summer's loss seems little, dear, on days like these. Let misty autumn be our part. The twilight of the year is sweet. Where shadow and the darkness meet, our love, a twilight of the heart. I love you, Janet. Thanks. Can't believe she didn't even bother to say I love you back. I need a drink.